Hello guys, I'm engineer Muhammad Adnan Khan and you are watching my YouTube channel Being Engineer. In this video lecture, we will learn to design the stairs. In fact, you can say to design good stairs by keeping in mind the requirements of good stairs and standards for a good stairs. In this video, we will learn to calculate the number of treads and risers for a stair by keeping in mind the requirements of good stairs that I have discussed in my previous video the link of which is given in the description watch the watch this video as well so that you can get the understanding of requirements of good stairs before designing of stairs in this video we will design the straight flight stairs as you know there are different types of stairs like dog leg stairs quarter ton stairs or half ton stairs but in this video we will only discuss the straight flight stairs as you can see this is the straight flight stair there is no turn in these stairs so let's get started let's suppose the vertical height is equal to 3.52 meters which is equal to 335.2 centimeters as you can see here this is the total height that we want to achieve to reach from this level to this level Before starting the calculation, one must maintain the proportion of treads and risers which says that treads and risers can be selected using this formula which states that 2R plus T is equal to 54 to 60 centimeters. It's mean that, that the length of the length of tread or the height of riser that you are going to select must lie between this, this range. So R is for riser and T is for tread. The other formula for proportions of tread and riser is R multiplied by T that is riser multiplied by tread. Their product must lie between this range. As we know that the standard size of tread and riser that I have, uh, that I have also discussed in my previous video that the standard size of tread is 28 centimeters and as you can see here this is the tread and its length is 28 centimeters and the riser is 15 centimeter the standard side of riser is 15 centimeters this is the riser this height is called as riser so we are using the formula 2r plus t is equal to 2 into 15 15 is the height of riser plus 28 centimeters 28 centimeters is the length of tread so by calculating we get 58 centimeters which lies between this range that is 54 to 60 centimeters the other formula was r multiplied by t that is riser multiplied by tread the height of riser is 15 centimeters and the length of tread is 28 which comes out to be 420 centimeters which again lies between this range so these fulfill the requirements of good stairs that i have discussed in my previous video and also follows the proportions of treads and riser for good stairs so we will we will choose 28 centimeter as a tread and 15 centimeter as a riser so now to calculate the number of treads and risers required to achieve this height we will divide 335.2 divided by 15 335.2 is the total height to be achieved to reach from this level to this level and divide it by 15 15 is the height of each riser and it comes out 22.34 you can say 22 22 number of riser will be, would be required to reach from this height to this height now to calculate number of treads which comes out to be 22 minus 1 number of treads are always one less than the number of risers which is 22 so 22 risers are required but there is a problem as the requirements of good stair states that there must be 15 number of steps in a single flight that is a flight must have maximum number of steps that is 15 it should not exceed 15 but here we have 
22 steps or 22 risers. Now what we will do? We will divide the whole stair into two parts. As you can see here, we have divided the whole stair into two flights. That is flight number 1 and flight number 2. And divided the stairs into, divided the number of treads and rises that were 22. Divide, we have divided into, divided by 2 and we get 11 number of treads in a single flight and 12 number of risers in a single flight as you can see here 1 2 3 up to 11 these are the treads and the riser is one more than the number of treads and the landing have been provided between these two flights to achieve the requirements of good stair and this is the total height to be achieved to reach from this level to this level following the requirements of good stairs and this is the distance from here to here that is 11 11 is the number of threads that is 1 2 3 up to 11 number of threads and 28 is the length of each thread so the total distance comes out to be 308 centimeter these two flights are same and contains equal number of risers and threads this distance is same as that of flight number one and this is the landing whose length is 150 centimeters we have designed the good stairs by following the standard size of riser and thread and following the proportions of threads and risers from which we have calculated that there should be 11 number of threads in a single flight and 12 number of risers in a single flight and overall there should be 22 number of risers and 21 number of threads in this flight so now to see whether this slope or pitch lies in the range of good stairs or not to calculate this slope we will use the formula phi is equal to 10 inverse of riser divided by thread as we see here 12 is the number of riser multiplied by 15 15 is the height of each riser this height is 15 centimeter and 12 is the total number in a single flight and 11 multiplied by 28 11 is the number of threads multiplied by 28 as we know that 28 is the length of thread so we we get 30.3 degree which again lies between the range that it this angle must be between 25 to 45 degree so we have designed the good stairs by following the requirements of good stair and angle also lies between the requirements of a good stair that is 25 to 45 degree so i hope that you have understand the whole method of calculating the number of steps and risers by keeping in mind the requirements of good stairs so for more videos subscribe my channel so that you can get my latest videos.